Hi friends, welcome to your daily vinyasa flow to feel alive and energized. This is a fluid vinyasa yoga practice that you can do every day at any time. We will be moving the whole body and include a few really expansive chest openers, heart openers. We will need one prop today at the end of class. This could be a cushion, a bolster, a block if you have one. But if you don't have anything handy right now, don't worry about it. We'll only need it once and I'll show you also how to do it without. So let's begin. We start by finding a comfortable seated position with the legs crossed. You may want to sit on some support here. And just take a moment to settle in for your practice. Make any adjustments to your posture to your clothing, anything that feels uncomfortable. And then just go ahead and close your eyes or lower the gaze down and just take a moment to bring all your attention into the here now. Really settling into this posture, into your body. Taking a few conscious, calming breaths. Leaving everything that has happened today, anything that is still on the agenda, move into the background a little. He's setting the intention to be mindful and present for the minutes to come, to nourish yourself, and to take time for your practice. Take a bit of a deeper breath in through your nose. And softly side out. Again, deep a breath in through the nose. Releasing breath out. One more time, deep breath in. And let it go. Good. Softly blink your eyes open. Take a moment to steady the gaze and then start leaning the upper body forward in a big half circle and then backwards to close that generous movement. And we'll do this a couple of times to begin and feel the body mobilizing the spine and stimulating the abdomen a little bit. So see that you can relax the stomach, the belly. Moving without any rush feeling as if you get to very gently stir up the energy in the lower parts of the body and beginning to feel that energy rise through the body. Yeah, circling the other way around as well. You can always close your eyes or withdraw your gaze from the screen so you can really focus on the sensations rather than looking so much onto the outer shapes. And you make this an inner practice as well. Yeah. And then allow the circles to become a bit smaller. It's kind of like you're spiraling your way up along the spine back into your upright seat. And then from here, shift the hands forward onto the shins. You have a bit of pull in the hands as you inhale, lift the heart, open the throat a little, curve the back. And as you exhale, you want to round the back, hang onto the arms, bring the chin in, the navel in. Inhale, sit up, lift the heart, gently arch the back. And exhale, round the back, kind of like a cat stretch here. We'll continue, I'll turn to the side. Inhale, kind of curving the back. And exhaling, rounding the back. And we do this a couple of more times. Make sure you take the pelvis along, tilt it forward, take the neck along gently. And as you exhale, tilt the pelvis backward, roll towards the tailbone, open the neck as well. Good. A couple more times. And this is a nice moment to invite an ujjayi breath. That means we narrow the back of the throat to create a bit of friction, which creates warmth in the body. And it creates that audible sound, the oceanic sound, just for you to listen to, to stay focused throughout your practice. Yeah. 
All right, the next time you inhale, sit up with a straight back. On the exhale, take your hands underneath the knees, stand the feet up in front of you. Inhale, lift the heart, broaden the collarbones. And as you exhale, lean back a little to lift your feet off the ground for your bow pose. Your feet could be hovering above the ground or maybe you bring the low legs parallel to the mat. And your hands can stay here or you can extend the arms forward. But you wanna make sure your spine is nice and long and you breathe in that same smooth, equal rhythm. Feeling the core connection, take another full breath. Good, and then cross your right chin in front of the left chin. Pull the heels in, extend your arms forward, flex your hands as if you wanted to push something away. Pull the knees closer, pull the heels closer once again. Feel that core engage and awaken. Take a full breath. And then slowly, with a bit of momentum, roll over the feet, come onto tabletop position. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. You may want to tuck the toes to stretch the feet a little. And then you want to engage the core so you have a nice and straight back. Reach the left arm forward, thumb is pointing up. Reach the right leg back, toes are pointing down, foot is flexed. Take an inhale here, lengthen both ways. Exhale, bring nose, knee and elbow together and round the back. Inhale, extend, very guided movements. Exhale, bring it all in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl. Last time. Inhale, extend. And exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend, arm and leg one more time. Exhale, place the left hand down, right foot down at the back of the mat. Turn the left toes out, ground the right foot, reach the right arm up, open the chest, good. Take an inhale here. And on your exhale, fold the right hand behind the head. Good, inhale, open for a little bit of a back bend, pull the right shoulder back. And on the exhale, bring the right elbow closer to the left one and curl down. Inhale once again, open the chest, maybe gaze up. Exhale, curl down. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, open the chest, extend the arm up. Exhale, land the right hand on the ground. Come onto the right toes, listen. Inhale, step into a plank pose. And stay for your exhale. Strong core, broad shoulders. Inhale here. Exhale, bring knees, chest and chin to the ground. Hips stay lifted, elbows close. Inhale, slide onto the belly point, the toes, cobra, bhujangasana. And exhale, tuck the toes, send the hips back into a chas pose, balasana. Take a breath in. And a breath out. One more time, inhale, exhale, good, inhale, come back into all fours, exhale, shuffle knees or hands to come back into the equal tabletop, inhale, extend the right arm forward, and on the exhale, the left leg backwards, inhale, lengthen arm and leg, exhale, round, pull everything in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, no rush, very guided. Inhale, extend. Exhale, hand down, foot steps back. Turn the right toes out, ground the left foot, reach the left arm up as you inhale. And stay for your exhale, open the chest. Inhale here. Exhale, fold the left hand behind the head. Inhale, open the chest, small back bend here. Exhale, left elbow comes towards the right one, rounding the upper back. Inhale, open. Exhale around. Inhale open. Exhale around. 
Inhale, open, extend the left arm up. Exhale, plant the left hand, release the left heel. Inhale, step into your plank pose. Once again, stay for the exhale. Inhale here. Exhale, bring knees, chest and chin down to the ground. Inhale, slide forward into a small cobra. Exhale, come down. Good. Tuck the toes, inhale onto the knees. Very strong arms here. Exhale, send the hips back and now up into your downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. We'll take a moment to stretch the back of the legs, soles of the feet. Maybe soften the neck here, gently gazing from side to side. Open the mouth, release any tension from the jaw. Take a big breath in. Stick your tongue out and breathe it out. Good. Inhale, come onto the tiptoes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Then on the inhale, walk to the top of the mat. You can take your time. Knees can be bent. And exhale, fold all the way down. On the inhale, lengthen through the spine. Knees are bent. Fingers to the ground or onto the shins. And exhale, fold all the way down. We do this again. Inhale, half forward fold. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold all the way. Uttanasana. Inhale, stand up. Take your arms over side. Gaze up. Upward salute. And exhale, hands together in front of the heart and release for mountain pose, Tadasana. Sun salutation, inhale, reach the arms up, gaze up. Exhale, fold through the center, knees can be soft. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, long back. Exhale, step back into your plank pose. Inhale here. Exhale, lower with a straight back all the way to the ground or maybe half for Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, come into your cobra as before or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Inhale, step to the top, maybe two big steps into your half forward fold. And exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, come to standing, take your arms over side, gaze up to the hands. And exhale, take your hands together in front of the heart and release. We come into chair pose, draw that low belly in, sit back, Utkatasana. On your exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, long back. Exhale, step back and lower in this out breath, all the way or half. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Inhale, reach your right leg up into the air. Exhale, take a big step in between the hands. High lunge, stand up, sweep the arms up. Stay for your exhale, soften the shoulders. Inhale here. Exhale, twist to the right side. Left arm goes forward, right arm back. Good, inhale here. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Reach the left arm up, exalted warrior. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale here, and exhale, reach the left arm all the way forward and all the way down to the ground, right arm reaches up, easy twist. Open the chest more, take an inhale, and on the exhale, fold the right hand behind the head. Good, find a bit of a heart opening here, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, good, one more, inhale, and exhale, close, look down, right hand to the earth. Inhale, right foot steps back, maybe let it hover only if you practice this. Exhale, your way to the ground. Inhale, choose your back bend, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Take a breath in. Sigh it out. Inhale, reach the left leg up into the air. Exhale, that big step forward. Take the shoulders along. High lunge as you inhale. Exhale, left arm back, right arm forward. Inhale here. Exhale, exalted shape. Right arm reaches up, left arm drops. Inhale, create space. Exhale, find a bit of stability. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale here. Exhale, reach the right arm forward all the way down onto the ground, left arm goes up. Easy twist, inhale. Left hand behind the head as you exhale. Inhale, pull the shoulder back a little. Stay and breathe. In. Out. One more, inhale. Exhale, release, left hand down. Inhale, plank pose, your variation. Exhale, your flow. Inhale, choose your heart opener. And exhale, come into your down dog. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. Take a moment to gather your breath. Gather your focus. Coming back into the very present moment. Feeling all the sensations in the body, the energy that is flowing now, the temperature. And then on your next inhale, come into the tiptoes. On the exhale, bend the knees, look forward. You can hop or maybe step to the top of the mat, half forward fold. And exhale, fold all the way down. We come into chair pose, Utkatasana, sit back. Stay for your exhale. Feeling the energy rise through the legs, into the core, all the way up into the arms, the fingertips, another full breath. And then on the exhale, we release back down into the forward fold. Half lift as you inhale. Exhale, step back and flow, or step back and go into your down dog, whatever you need. You can also always use the knees. Make your practice a very mindful and fluid one. No rush, no criticism. Synchronizing with the breath in and the breath out. Inhale, reach your right leg up into the air. Exhale, big step forward in between the hands. High lunge as you inhale. Warrior two as you exhale, left arm back, right arm forward. Back heel opens, your hips are nice and open. Take a breath and lengthen the spine. Sit a bit deeper as you exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. In is straight in the front leg. Activate the thigh. Keep the kneecap lifted. Exhale, pull yourself forward and down. Triangle pose, trikonasana. Creating loads of space in the body. And anytime you feel distracted or challenged, just energize yourself with your breath. Come back into that smooth, even in and exhale. Keep the inner thighs engaged. Good. Taking one more full breath here. And look down to the ground, press into the feet. Inhale, bring the upper body back up. Exhale, warrior two, listen. Inhale, high lunge, release the back heel, arms go up. Exhale, twist to the right. Once again, right arm back, left arm forward. Take an inhale here. Exhale, land the left hand all the way down to the ground. Easy twist. Good. Inhale, create more space. Exhale, two options. Right hand behind the head. Do what we did on the first round. Or sit the hips a bit lower. Step the right foot behind you and then lift the hips back up. Wild thing. 
Good. Only maybe right hand reaches behind the head. Breathe into the front body. Two more full breaths. Good. And to come out, lower the hips. Left leg stays long. We step back over into our plank pose. And you choose your flow of movement or your pose of rest. What do you need today to feel alive and energized? More moments of rest or more movement. Take a breath in and a breath out. Left leg up, inhale, three-legged. Big step forward on the exhale. High lunge, inhale. Vira Badrasana, two, warrior two on the exhale. Back foot parallel to the short side of the mat. Spine is long. Stable stance. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Straighten the front leg. Exhale. Pull yourself forward and down. Left hand onto the shin. Right arm reaches up. And engaging the left thigh, small bend in the knee, opening the chest. Two full breaths. And then look down for stability. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, high lunge, release the back heel, gaze forward. Exhale, twist further, left arm back, right arm forward. Inhale here. Exhale, right hand to the ground, left arm reaches up, easy twist. Inhale here, arrive. Exhale, maybe you stay here and just open the chest or you lower the hips, turn all toes to the left. Step the left foot behind you and then reach the hips up, reach the left arm over your head for a wild thing. Option to bring the left hand behind the head. Just keep breathing. And then lower the hips. Step back over into your plank pose. Take a deep breath in. And choose your flow or your pose of rest. There is a down dog for you, a child's pose for you. What do you need? Take a deep breath wherever you have arrived. Maybe sigh out any tensions. And then gaze forward, bring your thumbs to touch and walk the feet all the way forward to the outer edges of the hands, knees can be bent and we slowly lower down into a squat pose, malasana. If you need some support, you could be sitting on your prop or lifting the heels. Feet can be taken wider and then we take the hands together in front of the heart. If you feel any tension in the wrists, maybe you want to use the opportunity to circle out the wrists. And then once the wrists are loosened up, bring the palms together and draw the shoulder blades back. Engage the legs, the glutes. Pull the pelvic floor up. Once again, imagine that energy rising from the lower parts of the spine all the way up to your neck, back of the head, top of the head. Just breathe. Observe all these sensations. Yeah. And from here, release all the tension. Let the bum become very heavy. Bring the fingertips down to the earth and crawl them forward. You may even be able to drop the head forward, pull the hips back. Feel that decompression in the low back and the spine after the back bends. This might feel really soothing. Taking another full breath here. 
And then maybe you're already really close to the ground so you can just sit back or you want to take your hands behind you to place yourself down gently, joining the soles of the feet, bringing the feet kind of a bit further away from you, pulling out the flesh of your seat so you can feel the bones on the ground. And then we're folding forward into Tadasana, the star posture. Hands are open and a gesture of receiving so we refrain from this need of pulling and pushing ourselves anywhere. And again, maybe you can drop the head if that feels like tension in the neck or in the back. Feel free to stay a bit further up and look forward. And then just take a few nourishing long breaths. Good. Take one more full breath here. And then press the hands into the ground to help yourself sit up in a gentle way. Take the hands onto the knees, guide the knees back together, bring the feet a bit closer. Once again, lift the heart. We'll go for one more boat pose. We're lifting the low legs of the ground, hands stay where you extend forward. Keeping that same ease in the attitude, smoothness in the breath. Two more breaths. Good. This time we cross the left chin in front of the right one. Pull the heels and the knees and flex the hands, building a bit of strength in the core. This is really helpful for loads of postures and great to stabilize the spine. Just one more breath. And then again, with a bit of momentum, roll over your feet. You can step into your down dog or maybe step into a plank pose for your last vinyasa of this practice. It's just an option. And then in your down dog, take a breath in and sigh it out. I bring the knees down to the ground, walk the knees all the way forward to the wrists, cross the shins and sit back down for a seated posture, extending the legs forward. Good, bring the right foot in, drop the knee out to the side, bend the left knee a little if you feel that you're falling back onto the tailbone. Sit up nice and tall, reach the arms up, take a breath in. And on the exhale, fold forward. Try and hinge from the hips, so no reaching forward with the round the back. Hands can land wherever, it could be the ground, the shin, the foot. And again, just lifting the heart on the inhale. Drawing the belly in on the exhale. Three more breaths. Good. Press the hands into the ground to come back up. Bring the right knee up and step it over the left leg. Left arm hugs around for a twisted seat. Reach the right arm up and then twist to the right side. Land your right fingertips just gently and really open the chest. If you happen to have a lot of space today, option to bring the left elbow onto the outer right knee. If that doesn't feel quite right or if that means you're leaning back a lot, then stay where you were. And the focus point for the eyes. Rest the gaze, come back and see your conscious breathing. Good. On your next inhale, come back to the center. On your exhale, take a gentle twist to the open side. Gaze back forward, step the right foot over, extend the leg, bring the left foot in, drop the knee out to the side for Janu Shishasana. Again, finding that long low back, the long spine, reaching the arms up, and then hinging forward from the hips, landing the hands wherever they reach, taking another inhale, lifting the heart, and exhaling, bowing forward. Three conscious long breaths. And press the hands back into the ground, slowly sit back up. 
Bring the left knee up, step the foot over for your twisted seat, hug the right arm around, reach the left arm up, create space, and on the exhale, twist to the left side. Again, check your options, see what feels best for your arm variation. And then gently rest the gaze or close the eyes, take a few conscious breaths. On your inhale, come back to the center. On the exhale, take a gentle twist to the open side. And then gaze back forward, step the foot over, step the right foot next to it, just lean forward, forehead onto the knees, hug around the shins for a moment, breathe into the back body. And then sit up right. Make sure you have your prop handy, whether it's a blanket or a cushion or your block. And then come to lay down from here on the back. You, want to may, you may want to use your hands for help to do that. And then keep the feet placed on the mat. Press the feet into the ground. Lift your hips and place your prop underneath the pelvis in a way that allows you to rest your full weight down. So it's not all the way up in your spine. It's not really, really low in your tailbone, but it's really underneath the sacrum so you can rest the weight of your pelvis down. And once you have that, you can extend your legs up towards the ceiling for a little bit of a soft inverted posture here. Viparita Karani. For those who don't have any props, you can take a quick look. You can just bring your hands underneath the bum, palms facing down. And then with that little bit of support, you can bring the legs up towards the ceiling. Once you have arrived, you want to close the eyes or look towards your toes. And take some longer, nourishing breaths here. Signaling to the body that it's time to slow down and rest now. Take two more long breaths here. And then slowly bend the knees, step the feet on the ground, lift your hips back up, take your prop out to the side, ground the low back slowly, walk the feet apart, knock the knees towards each other in the center and rest the hands on the upper body. Just take a moment to observe how the mind feels now, the breath, and the body. And then from here, slowly bring the knees up to the chest, hug around the shins, rock a bit from side to side, massaging the low back against the ground. Lift your head, bring your nose in between the knees, take a deep, full breath. And then go ahead and stretch out on the mat for a few moments of deep rest in your Shavasana pose, giving loads of space to the arms, to the legs, releasing any tension from the body, any control from the mind, and allowing yourself to become still and rest for just a few moments. And slowly begin to deepen the breath. 
awake in the body, bring yourself back into the space. Wiggling the fingers and the toes gradually, allowing the body to move, the breath to flow deeper. Maybe you want to give yourself a big, big stretch. And then bend your knees and roll onto one side. Give yourself a kind and loving hug. Just taking a moment to observe how you feel after your asana practice. Expressing appreciation for this practice, the teachings and the opportunity to practice together. And then press your hands into the ground, slowly come back into an upright seat, maybe with the legs crossed. We'll join the palms together in front of the heart in Anjali Mudra, a gesture of connecting the mind and the body, and a gesture of respect. My thumbs are pointing towards me, my other fingers are pointing towards you, and we're all the same. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. I hope you feel alive and energized. Please let me know what you thought about this practice in the comments. Let me know what you want to practice next. There's a new video for you every week. And there are some resources below. There's a yoga retreat coming up, a teacher training, and I always love to hear from you. Let's stay connected and I'll see you soon.